remain. County criminal court judge Melissa Boyd is back in jail tonight. Boyd was booked earlier today, accused of violating. Yo, this the second assistant judge to get locked up in the last two days. <laughs> no other community, man. There's no other community. Yo, there's no other community. There's no other community like this, man. That's going to have two sister, two judges <laughs> locked up in in such a short time, man. No other community like this. We're the only ones, man. We the only ones, man. Dude, we're the only ones. <laughs> only in Blackistan, man. County criminal court judge Melissa Boyd is back in jail tonight. Boyd was booked earlier today, accused of violating an order of protection, contempt and harassment. Just last month, Boyd was arrested on a harassment charge after the victim told police she violated her agreement to stay away from her. Boyd. She's been arrested twice in the month. This is her second arrest in a month. So this one judge has been arrested two times in a month. Boyd resigned from the bench in April after court documents stated she failed a drug test and had alcohol and cocaine in her system. She's expected to be in court tomorrow. <laughs> Yo. <clears throat> Yo. Yo, this is insane. Eric, thank you. To the I-Team now, a controversial Douglas County judge who once put a bride behind bars found herself in jail earlier today. Probate Court Judge Christina Peterson was booked into the Fulton County Jail charged with felony obstruction and simple battery of a police officer. Last year, the State Judicial Qualifications Commission recommended Peterson be booted from the bench. And then voters did that themselves in a Democratic primary. She's been the subject of several investigations by the Fox 5 I team over the past four years. And this morning, reporter Johnny Edwards found out that she's now accused of punching a police officer. <laughs> Judge Peterson still serving out the last year of her term, apparently having a night out at the Red Martini Restaurant and Lounge in Buckhead. According to an unofficial police report obtained by the Fox 5 I team, she, quote, appeared to be under the influence when she punched an Atlanta police officer in the head. At <laughs> Hit the like button, y'all. Everybody, every single person in here smash that like button, man. Every single person in here smash the like button. Oh, God, man. My God. Ahead. After I had an attorney, it would have went to my attorney. Probate court judges don't normally land in the spotlight, I think so, yeah. but allegations of bad behavior by Douglas County Judge Christina Peterson just keep piling up. Last year, a state oversight panel accused her of, quote, systemic incompetence after a lengthy judicial misconduct investigation, recommending her removal from the bench. Among the accusations, hauling a bride from Thailand to court, then tossing her in jail because she tried to correct a marriage certificate.
did you go to this hearing um, with any idea that you may be going to jail? No. But now Judge Peterson faces the criminal justice system herself after her felony arrest early Thursday on allegations of punching an Atlanta police officer in the head. The incident happened at this Buckhead nightclub in the early morning hours Thursday. According to a police report, the probate judge appeared to be, quote, under the influence. A preliminary police report obtained by the Fox 5 I team says an off-duty police officer working an extra job at Red Martini Restaurant and Lounge went to check out an altercation in the valet area, which didn't involve Peterson. There, the officer found a woman crying and tried to talk to her, and that's when things took a violent turn. According to an arrest warrant, the off-duty officer struck in the head by Christina Peterson. It's just the latest in a long line of controversy surrounding the judge, soundly defeated in her Democratic primary last month by Douglasville attorney Valerie Vi. At one point last year, the State Judicial Qualifications Commission had her facing 50 counts of violating the Judicial Code of Conduct, later reduced to just 20. The committee describing her as, quote, spiteful and vainglorious. Peterson, meanwhile, saying in a JQC hearing, that the real tragedy is that she didn't get enough credit for making county history. I'm the first African-American female and Democrat. Yes. Any I don't even have to say nothing, man. I just let the video play, man. I don't even have to say nothing. I'm the first. African-American female and Democrat, yes. Any publications that you're aware of that ever acknowledged that fact? I was never celebrated or congratulated. Other accusations by the JQC? Threatening her homeowners association. Making inappropriate social media posts promoting her part-time. Hit the like button, man. Support the channel via PayPal Cash App with a super chat, man. Take the five dollar challenge, man. Support the channel. It ain't nothing but five dollars, man. Take the five dollar challenge, man. Hit the like button, man. <laughs> Listen, man. It leaves you speechless, man. I ain't going to sit here and act like, oh, yeah, man. Look at me, man. I got all these uh, slick things to say, man. I got all these clever things to say, man. I'm speechless, man. This stuff leaves you speechless, Jack. This stuff leaves you speechless, my man. Okay? This stuff leaves you speechless. Woo! AQC threatening her homeowners association, making inappropriate social media posts promoting her part-time acting career, holding an after-hours wedding inside the courthouse without security screenings, and violating the rights of a Henry County mother by ordering her jailed for trying to amend her marriage license. That mother ordered jailed for 48 hours, then fined $500 for contempt. Before her arrest, Peterson had been expecting a decision this month from the Georgia Supreme Court on whether to remove her from office. You can read the record, it's available. So we, I have good faith in the Supreme Court that they'll read the record and make an actual viable opinion. Now there's more to this story. Police documents say that after striking the officer, Judge Peterson wouldn't give her name, with officers fingerprinting her at the jail, but her name not coming back on file. The report says she told the officers to call a sergeant who told them she's a Douglas County judge. Johnny Edwards, Fox 5.